today we're going to look at the constellation of Centaurus. Now, in Greco-Roman mythology, Centaurus is often associated with Chiron, the centaur. It's the ninth largest constellation in the sky, and it contains two of the top ten brightest stars in the sky, but it's only visible from low northern latitudes, and it's never visible from the UK or anywhere in northern Europe. Alpha Centauri is a multiple star system, and it has an apparent magnitude of minus 0.27. The brightest component is Alpha Centauri A, which has a visual magnitude of minus 0.01, and it's the fourth individual brightest star in the sky, only slightly fainter than Arcturus. Alpha Centauri B is another very bright star. It has an apparent magnitude of 1.33. And there's a third star in the system, Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf, that forms a visual double with Alpha A and B. So it orbits A and B. And it is believed to be gravitationally associated with Alpha Centauri AB. It's only 4.24 light years distant from our Sun and therefore is the nearest star to the solar system. However, with an apparent magnitude of 11, it's not visible to the naked eye. Other stars are Hadar, Beta Centauri, a blue white giant, 348 light years away from us, and it has an apparent magnitude of 0.6, and it's the 10th brightest star in the sky. Menkent, Theta Centauri, with an apparent magnitude of 2.06, means the shoulder of the centaur. And Epsilon Centauri has an apparent magnitude of 2.29, although it is variable. It varies from 2.29 to 2.31, not a lot, uh, and is approximately 380 light years away. Eta Centauri, 30 years away, has an apparent magnitude of 2.23. And Zeta Centauri, and there's another binary with an apparent magnitude of 2.55. Delta Centauri, otherwise known as Mawe, uh, again variable between about 2.51 and 2.65. The name Mawe is Chinese. It comes from the name, uh, the Chinese name meaning third star of the horse's tail which of course it is. There are no Messier objects. However, it does contain Centaurus A, which is the fifth brightest galaxy in the sky and one of the closest radio galaxies to the solar system. It's either lenticular or a giant elliptical galaxy. Between 10 and 16 million light years away, Centaurus A is thought to be undergoing a collision with the spiral galaxy, which it is in the process of, of, of swallowing up. If I could pause for one moment and just say please subscribe to this channel, it means a lot to me because it shows me that people are interested in what I'm doing. Just click the little button at the bottom. Thank you. Well, that's all for Centaurus. I hope you enjoyed it. For those of you in the, around the Mediterranean or the southern states of America, brilliant. You can see it all the time. For those of us in northern Europe, sadly, it's a very bright constellation that we can't see without travelling. So, dark skies, stay safe. Speak to you next time. Bye for now.